What's up everyone, this is All I Talk is Tech, and today I want to show you this awesome iOS emulator that you guys need to check out because this is mind-blowing. So, let's get started. So this is basically an emulator for the iPhone that basically rebuilds iOS inside of Safari. So, I'll explain what I mean by that because this is honestly so cool and could lead to a future progression of the non-jailbreak community and I'll explain more of that later. So if you visit their website, you can go ahead and then download this. You can also visit their Twitter or get a newsletter so that way you can view updates. For example, this is kind of like in a beta stage, but not really like they've got a lot of cool stuff going for it, but it's not 100% complete. So if you do want to see updates, I'll have their Twitter down below and you can sign up for their newsletter if you want. But once you install this, What's so cool about this is you can download this for Android or for iOS. I'm obviously going to be showing you the iOS one, but if you're going to download it for Android, I'm sure it's very simple. It's just probably like an APK or something. But basically, just tap on install and then go to tap on the next button and then tap on install again. And then from here, you're just going to tap on it one more time when you get the second pop up and you can go to your home screen. So now you have this icon called iNuclear app on your phone. And man, this is so cool. So I've always wanted to build something like this. I've always had the idea. I just I don't know how. So they actually built this on their own and they did a fantastic job. I'm so happy with the way everything turned out. So they even have slide to unlock on here. So you can do that and you get this really cool fade in animation. And boom, look at that. This is all basically done through Safari. That is so cool. So you can see that they've got the app icons up top. You can scroll and it's flawless. It's not like it's really laggy or anything. It's actually really well done. It feels like an iPhone. What's really cool about this is that they pretty much have like a built-in Cydia thing. It's really cool. It's called Hexbreak. And that actually animation right there was new. I didn't see that yesterday. So that kind of proves that they're like updating this thing daily. They're trying to get this to be very well made and they're already on track to do so so you can see you've got beta store and itweak os this is for the non-jailbreak users it's just a pretty cool idea so go ahead and tap on sources and you can view kind of like other city alternatives and things like that you can respring your iphone you can download a theme for your iphone it's actually really cool the only issue with the app is there's no home button. They are working on that, but it's kind of weird. You have to exit the app and then reopen it again if you want to restart to the home screen. It's a little weird, but at the same time, this is mainly just a concept. I think it's so cool. So you've obviously got the slide to unlock again. I thought the control center would activate. Maybe I'm not doing that right. But nonetheless, this is still an amazing product. So go ahead and tap on the clock application and you get this really cool clock on your iPhone. So I just thought this would be a kind of fun video to make just so that you guys can check it out. It's really cool to see because I believe they're going to really continue to work on this and make it even better to the point where it feels like your device is jailbroken, if that makes sense. Like, they'll make this work so well that it feels like you're inside of iOS. So whenever you, like, unlock your iPhone, rather than going to the home screen, you can just have this open and it can be customized to the way you want. It could act as a jailbreak. I think that is a genius idea, and I hope, I hope, I hope they continue to work on this and make it even more awesome. They even have games inside of here, which is pretty cool. So, there's a lot of work that needs to be done, but they've certainly done an amazing job. So, that's about it for today. This is just a cool video. I'll have another video probably out later today, and as always, peace.